You've been working on this issue of overpopulation and population for decades. You've been seeing changes over the years. Can you make any predictions for us? If I were asked to make predictions, I would say we have troubles ahead, but that's always a safe prediction. As to how those troubles work themselves out, no. Uh, for example, I'm talking now not about biology, but just political matters. Who in 1988 would have predicted what happened in Russia and in Eastern Europe in the fall of 1989? No one did. See, this is the nature of history. After it's over, it makes sense, and you say, now I understand it. But nobody in 1988 predicted it. And the same thing is true for what's ahead of us in terms of population and so on. We cannot predict just what will happen. If you were in charge, what would be your laundry list of the first top five things that need to be done? Well, the top one is to make sure that everybody knows about birth control. That's number one. Then the second thing is to persuade people that the old habits of having national sovereignty, the old habit is a good habit, national sovereignty. Third, point out to them, get them to accept that national sovereignty means national responsibility. Each nation has to take care of its own. And then uh, the fourth thing I would try to get across is that everything that's viewed as a shortage can equally well be viewed as a longage. For instance, if you say we have a shortage of food, you can just as well say we have a longage of people. If you say we have a shortage of uh, roads for automobiles, you can say we've got a longage of automobiles. And quite often, if you put it in terms of longage, you can solve the problem. Whereas if you put it in terms of shortage, you run up against a barrier that you cannot solve. Now that takes me to four, and at that point, I suppose my fifth would be, maybe more of us ought to be quiet oftener, and I'll stop. I wish you didn't have to stop. There is so much more that I would like to cover with you. Perhaps you could just sum up for us why you consider the United States overpopulated and the rest of the world overpopulated. In both cases, it's because people are complaining of shortages. When people complain of shortages, say what you really mean is you have a longage of people. Now, why don't you look at that side of the problem first? 